Well, tomorrow is National Wear Red Day. The day is dedicated to raising awareness that heart disease is the number one killer of women. Dr. Mario Castillo Sang and survivor Lynn Mottman are here to talk about this very important issue. Thank you all for being here. Thank you for having us. And everybody is in a version of red. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, Lynn, if you would talk to us a little bit about uh, how you survived and, and tell us just a little bit about your story. My story probably started about two years ago when my husband was uh, getting ready to go through mitral valve surgery. Um, I had felt very run down. I couldn't understand it. I work out a lot. I worked out like six days a week. Um, but it was when we saw Dr. Castillo Sang for Steve's surgery that he started asking questions about Steve's symptoms and Steve would keep looking at me and I'd look at him and it finally came out that he didn't have them but I did. Wow. And it was at that point, I had already had one opinion, but Dr. Castillo Sang was kind enough to listen to my heart and encourage me to get another opinion. So I did that and from that then it led to uh, the the real revelation that I had several valves that were leaking, not just one. So Dr. Sang, you are a real life hero. Oh God, yes. no, far from that. <laughs> How important is this issue and why should people pay more attention to heart disease? Extremely important. Um, the number one cause of death in the U.S. Uh, is heart disease. If you look at men and women, for both of us, it is heart disease. And we think of women uh, and we think of breast cancer, gynecological cancers, but in reality, heart disease and, cere and cerebral accidents or vascular disease of the brain are the number one cause of death. And uh, Dr. Sang, we just had another story that mentioned that a new report from the American Heart Association has found that nearly half of all adult Americans have some form of cardiovascular disease. Does that surprise you at all? It does not. I think it has a lot to do with uh, our modern life, the way we conduct ourselves. Uh, we get so busy at times, we don't have the time to care for ourselves, exercise, watch what we eat, we eat on the go, and we are indeed what we eat. And so right. family history of having heart disease and mom, dad, genetics influences, but also what we do. And if people need more information about Go Red for Women or how they can donate or volunteer, who should they contact and how? The American Heart Association website is a great resource where you can find a lot of information about heart health, uh, men, women, and uh, I would recommend g visiting that website. All right, thank you all for being here, and Lynn, I'm so glad you survived. I am too. All right, you all stay thank warm you. out there. We have a lot to Take be care. thankful for. Yes, ma'am. All right.